First of all, uh, my good friend. The from Senator Oregon. from West Virginia. Mr. President, I want to thank my good friend from uh, Senator from Oregon for allowing me to say a couple of things. I want to put this in perspective. I don't think there's a person more bipartisan than I am. I don't think there's a person that has not signed more bills in a bipartisan way with my Republican friends than I have, who has voted on more Republican bills or more Republican amendments than I have as a Democrat. And I am so, I'm, I, I'm really so frustrated that I thought that we can make this place work. That was my purpose for being here. I, th I truly did everything I possibly could. I reached out. The White House was kind enough to reach out to me. I sat down. I talked to all of the people who are in charge of writing this legislation from the White House. I sat down with my colleagues. I gave them some suggestions and ideas. We brought people together thinking we could find a bipartisan way. And Mr. President, I would tell you, this, as I see it unfold tonight, this has been designed not to have even me as one Democrat on the bill. And I want to be. I want to be part of a reform. For the first time in 30 years, I look back at Ronald Reagan. He was a hero to all of us. Uh, and he had 97 votes. 97 senators voted for his legislation that he crafted. Okay? There was adjustments, a give and take. But every time I have a think, well, if you have some ideas, shouldn't you at least listen to me? Listen to what we think? I had a, two days ago, we did a press conference. I invited all of my colleagues, and I thought, well, I think myself and Senator Heitkamp from North Dakota, Senator Donnelly from Indiana, I knew the three of us would show up. I had 14 other colleagues that were craving to be involved, wanted to be involved. I saw my good friend Bob Corker, Senator Corker from Tennessee, asking, can we have a few more days to look at this? And that was denied. Um, I don't know what it's going to take. Maybe we've hit the proverbial wall. But this is the first time that I know in the history of the United States of America that we've ever done this type of major reform without having a bipartisan objective forward. Not one bipartisan vote on this piece of legislation. And I'm looking, I've been looking, trying to, to say that people have called me today from my home and asking, what have you seen? Would you like something? I said, well, I haven't seen that much. I'm still trying to find the bill. I've promised them. I had to promise them. I said, I'll at least tell you that I'll see something before I vote on it. I won't be able to read it, but I'm going to see it. I, I want to see something. And I would love for us to take the time to sit down and work on this and see. You'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. I think not only could we get to 60, we could get above 60 on the votes on this is what it should be. I thought my Democrat colleagues in 2010 that voted for the Affordable Care Act with not one republic on it was wrong. I thought that was wrong. I understand from the history, I wasn't here, I was a governor at that time, that at least they tried. They went through the markups. They went through the hearings. They had an awful lot of input. And I understand that. But still yet, I don't think any major legislation that affects every American should go through without a bipartisan buy-in, without bipartisan votes, without bipartisan supports. If this was designed to be a political ploy, just to basically have one side and one side only not wanting one Democrat vote, this will fail. And it's a shame for our country and for my other, my colleagues. I have made it a point when I thought was broken in this place. I have never, ever campaigned against a setting colleague. I have never campaigned against my fellow Republican. I have never made a phone call against a fellow Republican. I have never raised money to be spent to try to defeat a fellow Republican, my friends. Because I don't think I could face you if I'm trying to defeat you and then ask you to work with me. I've never done that, nor will I ever do that. That's not my purpose for being here. All I've asked for is give me a chance to work with you. That's all I wanted to do. I want to be part of this. And I would ask you if you could, any way possible, slow this down to allow me to be involved. And I would appreciate that. And with that, I yield the floor.